I don't tell him anything but try to be cordial, enter my house about a recently installed doorbell jam or never saw them, she's standing behind her car and footage was a speed in me, so I actually have to stand to do the introduction and from starting your name. My wife, Sincor, 3x, wife, we do well, much, and I should figure it out that I was on to it. And leave, she thought I had seen some kind of evidence. Still dumbstruck, it was like the reason why you hear stall doorbell hemorrhage, to tell me she can't check in the process stalling home cameras and voice activated the janitors that fishing actually and she wanted to shower and erupt for it, ongoing and longitude. I wouldn't mind. She said that when she came in, this happened pretty much the same time I personally am helping my elderly parents come and go, and it wouldn't be a problem, he said I deserved it. Stood there, she said she's going to taxpayers in her divorce, and we'll sell our house, luckily after a very brief and awkward psychology and end up paying her alimony and a request that may time for a lump sum, harsh while things are wrong. Most of the debt, but the house sale won't count just clear that I leave a little too strong she knows we still love each other. It's so disappointing. Get to play. I just looked her in the eye, I admit I have let the anger build within me, I have things to do, and you agreed somehow, but there really is not many to what you've posted to and went back to the basement. There's no one on a fair tightener site trying to control myself and my blood pressure, well, divorced and I just heard the garage door. I was more informed about the state of my marriage than I've gone, now early, it's just a bit of a mess, wanting to get back to my head, it's not even likely this was my first time, but I just let it go without pain I'll admit I already had one becomes at a very pivotal time for me to sign the deal to resolve me in more of a pair of shoes and just don't have there in desire to fight for any of my hands off another glass of my favorite Jefferson, but we both know there's too much painless work but those are my previous calls, she has known how broken otherwise still am over the post dated on before we date together, still going to be off. So here it goes. Some scars never receive. After another season, I really started to realize that maybe my whole relationship was so hard, but I'm a dentist, her tics and items that come out together I just felt that, too soon, I guess, just brought out more of the emotion side. I don't even think people in relationships are worth it, but I had pushed through and kept getting anyone to ever. You were most important. So there it is, unfortunately, one item brought revenge, no exposure, no reason. All of our children's acts just too terrible, we have a plan that is one part, both of us and now I have to find a way to rebuild myself. We have remaining relatives scattered them to get another failure and a long list of me in my life, well, I guess I'm planning to know over, and I am moving on the autopilot, I don't know if it's wrong that I wanna I don't wanna go home, but I have to pass, get to the house ready to put her in the market, but I really don't know how to find an apartment, it's true. I don't know if we can have I don't even know where I wanna live, it's all just so crappy. Like neither a voice to get more than half of my life possible or even it's all just a void ahead of me. The only blessing is not having kids since once the divorce is done, I won't have to be in contact with her, but that will take time. Every time I hear her voice, it just opens up the pain again. My pain shopping is looking back at dollar pictures and the otherwise good times we'd had. I just don't understand why I'm so stuck in the past and mourning something I thought I was ready to leave anyway, I lay awake analyzing everything I did wrong, how I wasn't ever good enough for anyone, why I deserve to be treated like rap, how crappy my life is, and why I'm always the one on the losing end. Now I'm old, broken, and undeserving of this crap life. No hopes and dreams, just alone in my thoughts, more thoughts from later last night. She hasn't even called or texted me since I left. I did say not to and meant it. She knew I did, I guess, but not one more sorry, not one. Are you okay? She's just sitting home watching a show like it's just any other Tuesday, or maybe not. That's all, why do I even care? Sorry. Insomnia and heartache are a terrible combo, why do we even feel like this when I wanted to leave? Did she know I probably wouldn't have? Did she think I would just cave and come back? 
For what? Love? History? Certainly not for the sex, she just sat over me, I guess. Her actions say so, my need to say who I am to who the heck is that anymore? He's not who I thought he was just last Friday. Well, I guess at least stall of last year, that guy was a blind idiot. He was a chump. He may still be, he's definitely been a sucker way longer, he believed in something that wasn't real like living in a Marvel movie with all the cool crap happening. And in the end, not even really given a choice, the guy was just fired from the only job he ever really wanted replaced while still at his desk. He got to watch his replacement come in the door and then before even getting to quit in spectacular fashion just handed his things on the way out. Forget that guy too, he sucked. Sorry for the novel, but my life is a crap show right now. Update my wife called me last night, she appreciated my apology and knew that things I had said were to try to hurt her. We didn't discuss too much other than her apologizing again and blah blah blah. I did tell her I would be coming home this weekend and that I needed her not to be there, it was kind of civil mostly, but I told her I don't care where she goes, I told her she can stay with her boyfriend since he's who she wanted anyway. She, of course, denied this and kept saying she wants me back and that we can work this out, please give her one chance that she'd never done anything like this and would do anything to make it up. I'll admit I wanted nothing more than to go back in time to any time other than the last year that I would even go to the worst times in our lives instead of now, but I stayed strong this time and said I don't see any way we can be together now, that it was a year, and I just can't imagine feeling the same for her. I only asked one question about it, I asked how many times she was quiet for a long time, but I refused to say anything. She asked if I really wanna know and she didn't wanna hurt me more. I just said I need to know. That's when she crushed me so much more, she said it was only a few times in the beginning, but after about a month, it was almost every day that I was away and even some weekends when she had said she was at the gym for about 6 months. But in the last few months, it had been once or twice a week while I was away. I once threw up a meter at the call so I could let some of that pain out. So she had sex with him more times in a year than we have in the past 10 to 15 years. Like hundreds of times more than we maybe even had in the beginning of our relationship, I wanted to ask more questions, but I was too hurt and ashamed. I wanted to ask if he was bigger, better, and what they did. What did he do that I couldn't, but I just couldn't take any more. I just said again. You should just go to him this weekend so I can be alone at home and go through and get some more of my important things. I don't even have a permanent place to take them. I've been a week and went and got a bottle of good scotch. Now I have to work and take care of my parent hungover. Update. So as I thought we had agreed, I'm back at the house to gather some things. I get here and thank goodness she's nowhere in sight. So I'm gathering some documents and I have forgotten what I left last weekend then packing some clothes and other things, all good, going faster than I thought. Wearing my airpods and playing some good tunes to keep positive, as I'm going into the basement and packing up a few things up from there, it's hard as hell, but I'm kind of determined to keep moving before I get too down. As I'm in the basement, I hear faintly over the tunes, the sound of water running in the pipes. It's going for a few before I notice. I walk upstairs and hear the shower going upstairs, I'm like, what the actual heck? I make myself a cup of coffee and decide it's better for me to go out to my car. At first, I was going to drive away, but stupidly, I just sit there in the driveway, I'm stunned as heck. I start writing a long-ish in nasty text, but don't want anything like that as evidence or whatever, so I decide I'm just going to sit there and wait for her to leave again. Hopefully, my new neighbor is walking by and stops to introduce himself because by now I'm standing outside.